All right, I have a quick video review for you today. This is something I tested out over the summer and just honestly just getting around to doing the review for you now. And that is a set of string lights in a bag. If you're interested in seeing and hearing more about these, keep watching. All right, first I want to thank Flextail for sending me the string lights so that I could share them with you. Now, this, this is not going to be a very long review at all because there's not a whole lot to say about them. But what I will do is just give you a bit of information about these. I'm going to demonstrate them in one mode or one way of using them here in the house. But I did take a little bit of video of while I was out camping at Kujbaquack National Park that I'll put into the video as well. All right, let's get started. Started. All right, so as I said, there's not a lot to show you about these or to talk about them, um, but I can quickly go over what they are. So it is a set of LED lights on a long wire, which is actually 32.8 feet or 10 meters long. And there are 78 of these little light bulbs on that. Most of them are white, but if every oh, so often there is a yellow one intermixed. And you'll see that when I light this up in a moment, the uh, different colors. And they operate on a USB type C connection. Now, uh, let me just show you that. So I was a little, I, w I don't want to say dismayed when I got it, but a little confused. This is a USB type C for plugging into a USB type C fast charge port. Now, uh, none of the power banks or the small ones that I have have a USB type C on it, but my larger ones do, you know, the power stations themselves. But I wanted to be able to use it on a small power bank. And so I bought these little adapters and all they are is USB type C to USB A connectors. And I picked these up off of, I think it was Amazon or AliExpress. If I can find the link, I'll put that in the video description. Handy little thing to have for converting these things back and forth or any other device like this back and forth as well. So yeah, that's all it is. Now to operate this, it's just a matter of taking a power bank like this and plugging it in. And that's it. Now, Two ways of using these. One is, as you see them right now, and I know the camera's compensating for it, but it is a bright room in here as well. It's just as it is. Inside this clear plastic bag with this little toggle on the end of it, you can hang this up, and this provides a good amount of light. Well, enough to make the camera want to compensate for the brightness. So this is just like a nice little lantern all of itself. And uh, yeah, so that's one way. The other way, as I'll show you from my camping trip, is stringing the moat around your campsite as well. Now, I will tell you, I don't know how long this battery pack would last, but I can tell you that in measuring this on on my larger battery stations or power stations, it's only drawing one watt of power. So it's, you know, I know I could do the math and you could do the math as well. How long would a 10,000 milliamp battery bank like this last? Actually, a long time. So these are not power hungry at all. So yeah, now let me just roll in the footage of using these in Kujbaqua. So we've been enjoying using these Flextail LED string lights here at the camp. You can see I have it set up on my ridge line. The ridge line goes over to the white, big white tarp, poly tarp sitting over our tent, which has been great in the heavy rain we've experienced here in the last two weeks. But it just kind of lights the whole area up, as you can see, quite nicely. And I just want to add one more small thing. You can see what I've done here. This is the bag that the string lights come to you provided in, and there's just a little battery bank inside and that's what's powering the string lights here. It's not so much about illumination, we both have headlamps, it's more about the ambiance that this provides and it does a really nice job at that. You know, I guess one thing we didn't talk about is who wants these? Who are these intended for? Because this is not what I would carry if I was on a backpacking trip or hiking in the woods, uh, long distances and every ounce or gram counted. Wouldn't be carrying these at all. But when you're car camping or you're only going a short distance and you'd like to have the ambience of having your immediate area lit up, these really do make a difference. They're kind of nice to have. Necessary? Absolutely not. Of course not. You can get by with just a flashlight or a headlamp. And uh, yeah, for ambiance, a fire is nice. But I'll tell you, you can't have fires all the time because of fire bans. And something like this just provides a little extra to your campsite if you're looking for that ambiance, just that nice warm feeling around your campsite. So that's who this is for. It's not a necessity. It's just a nice extra that you may want to pick up and add to your camping gear 
if it's the type of camping that you're likely to use that on. Okay, that's it. That's There's not a lot to this video. What I'll do is I'll put the information I have given you, including the links where you can take a closer look at these string lights from Flextail in the video description below. If you have any comments or questions, put those in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.